Welcome, everybody, first of all. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, I want to start by thanking all of you for attending. It's wonderful to see you. A special uh, thank you goes to our esteemed uh, guest speakers. Uh, we don't take your presence for granted. Thank you so much for contributing to uh, today's success. And also a, a huge thank you uh, goes out to our friends uh, from the African Institute for Mathematical Sciences, who also graciously uh, chose to join us here for this event. Round of applause for everybody. <laughs> Synapse is a symposium uh, on artificial intelligence. It's a chance for all of us to uh, explore some of the uh, latest and greatest advancements in the field, and most importantly, to debate uh, some of the most important AI-related opportunities and threats uh, facing humanity at the moment. Uh, we all look forward to uh, listening to uh, our wonderful speakers, uh, so I'll keep my talk very brief. I'll uh, start by spending a few words on bending spoons, given that perhaps some of you don't know a lot about us, and then I will explain why we chose to uh, organize and sponsor uh, Synapse. So uh, without further ado, Bending Spoons is a technology company based in Milan, roughly 350 spooners, that's how we call one another, work at the company. We specialize in the design, engineering, and marketing of mobile applications for consumers. We do not work for third parties, we serve our users and customers directly through our own products. And uh, uh, our apps uh, have been downloaded by more than half a billion people. Today, roughly 90, actually not 60, since we prepared the content for the conference, the number went up. Uh, roughly 90 uh, million people use our apps uh, each month. So by most measures, we're one of the leading app companies uh, globally. Our most successful products are tools that serve creativity. Creators uh, the world over use our apps to craft awesome content that they publish online. Take Splice, for example. Splice is a sophisticated yet intuitive mobile video editor uh, millions of creators uh, use it to produce content that reaches hundreds of millions of people uh, each month. Another example is Remini, the number one AI-powered photo enhancer uh, in the world, uh, with more than 40 million people using Remini to improve uh, their photos each month just in a couple of taps. When it comes to building bending spoons, there are two pillars that we never compromise on. The first one is technology, uh, and that will connect back to the topic of artificial intelligence, of course. Since our foundation, we have deployed a lot of resources in R&D. Roughly 60% of spooners operate in technical roles and over the years, we've created truly fantastic tools that give us superpowers in what we do. And the second pillar of our approach to building the company is the people. We are absolutely fanatical about creating one of the very best places to work globally and attracting and retaining exceptional talent. We have already won numerous awards as one of the very best places to work in Europe and uh, are hell-bent on making this just the beginning. We want to improve still a lot in the coming years. So now to, to the topic of AI. At Ben Spoons, we invest extensively in artificial intelligence and more and more so uh, with every passing day. I want to give you a couple of concrete examples, and I'll take, again, Remini, the uh, photo announcer app I was mentioning a moment ago. 
Remini is fully AI powered. The user uploads a photo, typically a low resolution, blurry, or otherwise low quality photo, and then the app feeds it to a neural network, which in just a few seconds um, improves the photo dramatically, and so the user gets back a photo that's high resolution, sharp, generally extremely high quality. And most of the people who try Remini think it's magic. So that's the power of machine learning right there, something that just a few years ago would have looked impossible to do, and still does to most people. Another example of a business-critical application of AI at Vending Spoons is Minerva. Minerva is a predictive analytics technology with a uh, machine learning model at its core. Uh, Minerva performs millions of predictions with regard to our apps every day based on a huge amount of data. It does the work of thousands of people and way better than uh, any person ever could. Our products wouldn't be nearly as successful without Minerva. So we're a company that's investing in AI. We believe in the power of AI, but that perhaps doesn't explain why we have chosen to organize and sponsor a symposium on artificial intelligence. Of course, there is employer branding that doesn't uh, surprise anybody, but there are two important reasons why we chose to do it. The first one is that there is a severe shortage of technical professionals, uh, and this includes, and perhaps it's even more pronounced when it comes to the uh, to role related with, uh, with artificial intelligence. Uh, this is a pity. Uh, lots of people are missing out on an opportunity to have a wonderful career. Our economy is less efficient than it could be, and progress in artificial intelligence is lower, not just at the academic level, but also when it comes to bringing the breakthroughs that academia produces to consumers, to people, to make their lives better. But well, the second reason is way more important, and definitely the one that's dearest to me, and I think to most people here at Bending Spoons. It's probably obvious to all of you here that we as humanity have barely scratched the surface of what AI can be and likely will be. Although it's already deeply rooted in many aspects of our lives, this is nothing compared to the level of pervasiveness we're headed toward. AI will enable tools much more powerful than any we've seen so far. And the people wielding these tools will hold unimaginable power, unprecedented power. Unfortunately, today, the knowledge and control of AI is concentrated in very few geographies and hence, and very few checks and balances are in place to ensure that AI is used as a force for good. Should things take the wrong turn in the future, particularly when AI is more powerful than it is today, then the people uh, holding the keys to the most powerful AI tools, if they choose to leverage their position of power to benefit themselves to the detriment uh, of society as a whole, then the future will be extremely unequal and non-inclusive, which of course, would be very sad. Instead, we envision a much brighter, more exciting future, one where AI and the knowledge and the control of AI are a global endeavor, where artificial intelligence is put to use to benefit as many people as possible, our planet in general. The incredible quality and caliber of our attendees today makes Synapse special, but in light of what I just said, I think what makes it even more special is that it, uh, it takes place in a country uh, like Italy. The vast majority of events of this kind are held uh, in very few uh, usual places, typically some key research or industry hubs, and almost never 
uh, in a country that's not on the map, at least currently, when it comes to technological innovation. So we hope that by holding Synapse here, uh, we can inspire all of us and hopefully someone out there too to uh, strive, to work, to build a future where AI is a force of good. It can be benefiting not just the few, uh, but the whole of humanity. Thank you again for attending. We feel blessed having you here. Enjoy Synapse.